House, located on the Genesee River, which of course is where it gets its name from. A pretty sizable brew house, with a restaurant on the second floor, seating on the roof, beer garden on the first floor, You can see plenty of beers to choose from. The special ones on tap, the new one, the Oktoberfest, since it's getting to be that time of season. Also, they have an Alt Brew, which is kind of an old German brew, which, in its, which basically means brown. Another beer on tap is the 12 Horse Ale. It's only available at the brew house. Many people enjoy it. It has had limited releases by the brew house and used to be one of their mainstays years ago. Enjoying the view, enjoying the beer, enjoying the food, and just having fun. One of the best features of the brew pub, obviously, is the view. As you can see, a lot of Rochester and some of the construction. They have a beer garden. Well, not a true beer garden. It's impossible to have a real bill garden when you're in the United States. They pretty much only really exist in their truest form in Bavaria. As you can see the bike. Now the Genesee Brew Pub is connected with the Genesee Company. And a lot of people like to call this a commercial brewery. The difference between craft and commercial is kind of a complicated one. And People draw lines about barrelage or whatnot. But what you really need to know is that commercial beer sometimes people gives it give it a bad name. I think a lot of people give it a bad name because they think the beer isn't complex enough or tasty enough. But people have to understand the whole history of why commercial beer became so popular. Rather than go back too far, the main reason, another reason people hate them, because they think like the companies like Budweiser, Pabst, Miller squashed out all the little guy. And they did. But the history is complicated and you can't just blame Budweiser. Allow me to elaborate. The reason why corporate beer would tend to dominate has to do mainly with prohibition. Prohibition ends in 1932 with the repeal of the Prohibition Amendment. What people don't realize is that two things occur at this time. One. One, there's a cultural, in, there's a cultural reason. Culturally, people have been living under Prohibition for over a decade. And when you live under Prohibition for over a decade, people's flavors tend to change. During Prohibition, a lot of people who did drink would drink usually hard liquor. And that's where a lot of the mixed drinks come from, is from Prohibition, in order to make the bad alcohol taste better. Bootleggers would tend to import in hard liquor because there was more bang for the buck. The other issue that led to consolidation of the breweries was legislative, was some of the laws. People think that Prohibition was just about that one amendment. There were a whole bunch of laws created by the government which made it more advantageous to consolidate and to be a big brewer. I'll go into some detail like bonded warehouses and other such things, which made it easier for a larger brewery to continue growing rather than a startup. One of the more obvious ones it was it became illegal to homebrew after Prohibition. It became illegal to do a lot of things. It became illegal in every 50 state to sell beer at the same location you were making it. This makes it incredibly difficult to open a brewery and to start competition. These are some of the rules and regulations which ended up helping the giants start growing more and more and led to the consolidation. 
So I hope you can appreciate how there are two sides to every story. So while people will kind of try and defame corporate brewing or commercial brewing or however you want to call it, we should also thank them for keeping brewing alive. One of the things that Genesee and all these big brewers are responsible for is of keeping beer alive. There are a lot of countries that don't have beer consumption as a major part of their culture. And in fact, it took until the 1970s in order to get beer consumption up to the same levels it was pre-prohibition. So if you enjoy this, want to see more, subscribe and follow the journey.